Hi everybody and welcome. I have this really cute uh, Hershey Nuggets treat box that I wanted to show you. These are um, really good craft fair sellers. Also these are good gifts for a birthday party, wedding gift table favors, baby shower gifts. On this one I have Thinking of You. Um, I want to show you how I put that together. <clears throat> I ordered these dies from AliExpress on Andy's store. It was the tag which you could use any tag that you wanted to and then it just had two uh, decorative tops they were selling these ones too that make um, the hole for this and the trim piece and the flap in the back uh, where I got it says pole it made that but now he's no longer selling these but you can get these from uh, the store called my favorite things they do sell them you can use any kind of tag as long as you have these um, a while back I had bought the lip balm one from my favorite thing uh, it, that's the insert to hold it and uh, I bought <clears throat> the cover that went with it that was one let me see that and this piece was one piece that they sold they're not really expensive over there also then i bought the pull tab which i bought this on ebay because it was only a dollar something it was way cheaper but if you bought these um ones for this box over here you could use this pull tab on the back instead of buying a pull tab like this and then I bought these long tags, which if you had some tag ones, you could use any ones you want. Because normally, I've only used these two out of them to make the lip balms uh, things. And those, uh, I'm pretty sure that they still sell all those ones. Let me keep all these dies separate. I use these a lot at Christmas, the lip balm and the chocolate ones. The chocolate ones seems to sell really good. The lip balm ones I didn't do that great on. I sold a couple so I really don't make them anymore so I'll kind of like these and all the tabs. I gotta figure something else to do with them. But these ones I sell really good even before I had the little inserts here. I was just putting them on a little card and making snowman out of them which I will do another tutorial on that. Some I put hats on but these ones I had and I was just sticking them in threes like this but now that I got the plastic casing which also came I like I said from my favorite things they're pretty cheap you get a pack of 10 or 12 of them I can't remember how many's in a pack they're like this and this is the store so that's how I did got those ones but Andy store only sells the tag one but if you have a tag like I said as long as it's kind of like a white tag you could use that for the lip balm one you could use that for any of them because they would all fit in there you don't really need these really big tags and the stamp that I'm going to use on this one is from uh, Jelly Bean I used uh, the sweet treats for you it also has celebrate sweet birthday sweets for the sweet and sweet happy it was from a little bubblegum one I bought it to have these sweet different sayings for my candies for the pull tab one this is the company right here. Let me turn it on the back. You can see it better. I don't know if they still have these, but this is the company that I ordered these from. And this was the SKU number if you want to snapshot that. But this one has on here, um, let me pull them up because I got them in backwards and I can't read them. It says, you pull it, just a little smashing, smashing for you, happy days, fun days celebrate smile thank you all different kinds of scripts of it but you can't guess what's inside just for you hope you like it on your mark get set rip the rip this open a little something for someone special and it's got a thing that says pull or open um, that you can use on there it has a lot of the sayings i bought it for the pull in the open thing for my tabs i really as you can see i've only mainly use the pole I bought it just for that but there's so many other ones that you could use these on and I'll probably be using different ones more sooner but I will show you how I made this so what I did was I cut two tabs 
out from the one tab here. Well, let me see. I cut two of them. On one of them, I put the frame one, which it, which that I cut that on top of there, because that's where the insert's gonna go. And then one, I did the pull tab, which it doesn't cut all the way through. I picked the side of the paper that I wanted, and I put it on there, and I ran that through. So I made two tabs like that. Now all we got to do is get an insert. You could make a lot of these by just cutting all your tabs and then going through and putting all your inserts in. All you do is you take uh, your insert and you put it in there. You can glue it in there, but it takes a while because of the plastic. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to, but I, what I like to do is I like to just take a little piece of regular tape and tape it down along the bottom. I make sure that it's not going to go over the top. If it goes over the bottom, I can just cut it. And I like to put that in there to just secure that even more until my glue sets up on the other piece. Like I said, it's just a suggestion. You don't have to. Some people put glue or, or if you got a real thin tape runner, you can do that too. But I like to just go around the sides and, and do that. Now we got a little too big tape. So I'll just tape that there. I'll cut that off the bottom there where it went over. And one more little piece. And then I just know it isn't going to move around or nothing until. I get everything in place and I don't want to get the tape on the sides because you'll see it. Then you just take three of your Hershey Nuggets, make sure you got them all going the right way, night upside down because I've done that before. Um, see like some of them right now, upside down, so I want that that way, that way, that way. And then they're going to look like that. And then we're going to flip that over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the glue. And these tips I got in these bottles are from uh, BB Crafts. It was one of my things that they had given me to uh, do a review on. And now I'll just tuck a little bit of glue underneath that tab. Because I have the tape there. And I'll make sure I get it all up around the sides real good so that it sticks. And then we're just going to take our back piece you decide which side I did two sided paper you want to use um, kind of a heavy cardstock do not use a real thin one or it's just going to feel real flimsy and it's going to fall apart on you so you got to use a little bit of heavier cardstock then you just go around and you close it up and make sure you know this is some crappy glue but doesn't seal real quick and then I just flip it down on the table and I rub around it real good you could use sticky glue but I like like I said to use the uh, tape on here and then let me see where my quarter rounder is in this mess I got uh, I got uh, this was one of the cutouts that I used and I stamped on here sweet treats for you it does have already the right corners rounded but I'm going to round it a little bit more and then I'm going to take a hole punch and punch a hole in it and then I want to get a little ribbon and put some ribbon on there and get my scissors and I'm going to tie that to there in a minute but I also did if I can find out where I put them I cut off oh, little borders you can do that if you want a decorative border or something a little bit different at the top so I'm going to put that at the top there plus it makes it a little more sturdier that doesn't have to be real heavy paper because you've already got your card stock and stuff on there from the other and you're at two layers but it gives it a little bit fancier look. They have a straight one and a scallop one. You can choose. It comes with a tag one. So that's what it looks like so far. Now 
find out where I just, there it is, my glue bottle's on it. I want to put a ribbon around here. And then I'm going to put it through here. And I'm just going to tie that so it doesn't come undone. And then it has a little tab on there. And you can turn it to the side if you want. I'm going to leave that hang just a little bit and cut that off. And then I'm going to put a pretty bow up there. And then I'll sell these in the craft fair for $2 a piece. Some people sell them for more. That's your choice. We don't live in an area where a lot of people have big money. It's a retirement community. And I keep my prices cheap. I don't want to go home with my stuff. I want to sell it. And, uh, you know, and, and it's not costing me that much to make this. Papers, you know, it cuts quite a few out of a thing of paper. The bowls I got, um, I think it was 500 a couple years ago for $3 off of eBay. I don't know if they still carry them. But look at how sweet that is. And that makes a really good... Uh, craft fair gift it's a great seller and thank you very much or a friend's gift thank you gift whatever you want to do like I said the inserts are um, my favorite things where I just found them I've been looking for them for a long time and now I ordered me a bunch of them and sometimes you sign up for their email list you'll get a discount so thank you if you like my uh, channel please give me a thumbs up and subscribe I love to have you as a subscriber and let me know what you think of them I appreciate all your comments down below thank you